and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Megabase. Where in the last episode, we set this up in preparation for today, where we're going to be crafting some circuits. Firstly, though, a quick thanks to Containment Failure and Alipasha Sadri. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, for pointing out an error in my 1616 balancer here, uh, you can see I've ghosted in these three belts. They were missing, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, it, it probably would have worked fine without it, um, considering I'm only pulling ten belts off. But there you go. All right, so spreadsheet time. We need, circuits-wise, we need 294.7 electronic circuits per second. We need 57 and a fraction advanced circuits per second and 10.2 processing units per second. Um, so, for all of that... Um, evil rocks getting in the way and end up on belts if I don't take care of them. Uh, right. Uh, we need to bring some of this iron up, and we'll need the plastic as well, and the sulfuric acid. Um, so let's have a look here. Yes, iron and the copper cable will go to that. Copper cable, plastic, and some of the circuits will go to that. Some of the red, some of the greens, and the sulfuric acid will go to that. Okay, so for the 294 green circuits per second we need uh let's see if i get like a standard um crafting module bit uh do i have a standard one where am i making green circuits up here so this is a green circuit module i've got coming in uh, they're made quite fast uh, they're made two per second you know what let's just make a new one Okay, so one of these, making green circuits, and you can have them. Some beacons? I have no beacons on me. It's always the beacons. Alright, we'll grab some of these. Uh, pop that down there. Okay, and some power as well, just so we can see how fast things are moving. Okay, so that on its own has a crafting speed of 3. So if it makes three per second, no it doesn't, it makes two per second, at a crafting speed of three, at a productivity of 1.4, each machine will make 8.4 uh, circuits per second. So using a setup like that, we would need 36 machines. Now, I can't quite do six rows of six, because um, to get the number of green circuits we need, we actually need over six and a half blue belts worth of green circuits. So six rows of six won't cut it. Um, if I did 12 rows of three, or three rows of 12, depending how you look at it. No, it would be, it, no, 12 rows of three. Um, let's see. How much copper does this require? So that needs six copper cable per second multiplied by its crafting speed so that needs 18 copper cable per second if i had three in a row like that that would need 18 times three which is 54 copper cable per second that i think might actually work pretty well because this up here should in theory be a saturated belt of copper cable at 270 per second and 54 goes into 270 exactly five times. Okay, let me see if I can work up a module that we can expand. Alright, so a slight change of plan. By beaconing these things up the wazoo, we can get a crafting speed of eight out of these. I mean, we could go higher. Uh, it, it goes all the way up to 8.75, but we need the productivity. Um, so, it works out that... At two circuits per second multiplied by a crafting speed of eight multiplied by a crafting productivity of 1.4 multiplied by two machines, we get 44.8, which is damn close to a compressed belt. 
so I'm thinking um, we can actually bring that out there, avoid having to use more undergrounds. Um, just two machines, if we're careful, we can compress almost a blue belt of circuits. So remember, we need 294.714-ish. Uh, divide that by 45. We need 6.55 belts of green circuits. So if I just stamp this down seven times, that will do us. Now, uh, you'll notice here I've used the ultimate belts um, for the inputs because at a crafting speed of eight, we're effectively making 16 um, electronic circuits per second, two per second times eight seconds. So each machine will need 16 iron plates per second coming in and three times that in copper cables. So in total, we need 32 iron plates per second coming into this. And 96 copper cables coming into this. So because it's only 32 iron, I probably could get away with making these the ordinary belts. But this one here, 96, that's more than twice what a blue belt can handle. So... Let's stamp this down a few more times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then we need to feed in the iron and the copper cables up top. So I'm going to move all of this uh, probably down to here-ish. Uh, actually, a bit further down. I'm going to put it there. Okay, then we'll bring the iron up here-ish and we'll bring the copper cable around there and I'll stick to the tried and tested priority splitter method. Alright, I think we're good to go. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure just yet exactly how many belts of the iron and the copper cable are going to be left over after this. So I've just let it go all the way through. We'll figure that out afterwards. Let's plug it in, make sure it works. So the iron comes in there. A little slow poke compared to these ultimate belts. Okay, that's all full up and... The copper cable. That's, that's, that's damn near compressed. There's a couple of gaps here and there, but I'm not going to complain about that. It seems to be all right with the throughput. I didn't see... I, I saw a couple of flashes of almost red there um, where it couldn't quite seem to get the copper cable in quickly enough but I think that's all right so we've got seven of them we only need six and a half all right one down two to go one last thing before we move on to the red circuits uh, I worked through the numbers and assuming the numbers are correct by the end of this we have less than 270 copper cable and uh, less than 135 uh, iron plates left over. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got we we have 129 iron plates per second. So that's three belts of iron and one of the ultimate belts of the copper cable left over. All right. So for the red circuits, let's do the thing again. Uh, we'll set up one of them. We'll get one of these there. Set you to red circuits with them and some power so we can see how fast things are moving. Okay, so well, we tested this earlier. That's a crafting speed of three. Um, and these are made one every six seconds. So one every six seconds multiplied by the crafting speed of three multiplied by the productivity of 1.4. 0 0.7, so 0 0.7 per second. If we take... Um, 
let's see. So we need 57 advanced circuits per second. If I do 57 divided by all of that, okay, that comes out as 82 machines, which was a little more than I was hoping. Um, what did I do up here for red circuits? Yeah, 82 machines looks like it will be right. Um, now, we're also making more than one belt. So if I split that between two belts, that'll be 41 machines per belt. Let's round that up to 42. So that will be 21 machines per side. Okay. What does the input look like on that? We can just about get away with that. So 21 machines per side of a belt, multiplied by the crafting speed of 3, multiplied by 2 plastic bars per craft, divided by 6 seconds ordinary crafting time, is 21, which is slightly less than half a blue belt. So we can do the usual trick of merging plastic bars and electronic circuits onto one side of a belt. Okay, um, the copper cable will bring in on the fast belt. Um, actually, do we need to do that? We don't need to. Um, but hang on. So let's, well, let me throw down 21 of these to start off with. Um, right, so that will have... Let's do it with the fast inserters because it feels better. All right, so we've got this. Now, here I have 80 machines because apparently I can't count. Okay, now we have 88 machines, which is actually more than necessary. But... That's fine because it will self-limit based on the available inputs. And I am a few modules short, so I'll go and pick up them. I'll grab some more of these as well. Because we'll need to extend the beacon lines a fraction. Uh, yeah, just by one. So one there, one there, one there. Okay, I'll do a little bit of tidy up, um, so like the extra belts at the ends that aren't needed. Ooh, I do need that one. And we'll bring in the inputs and tidy up the outputs as well. Also, whoops, there's supposed to be an input line in there. Uh, all of this needs to be moved. God damn it. Okay, I think this will work for an input. So, uh, we've got the copper cable coming in at the top, which gets split onto the blue lines going down to feed the machines. Then we've got two lines of green circuits coming in from this side. The bottom line gets split here, so we send half a belt down that line. Follow this along, and half a belt down that line. The other one comes across under get split so we send half a belt down that line and half a belt down that line we've got two belts of plastic coming in from the other side which basically does the opposite so the bottom one goes under 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 splits and we send half a belt down there and half a belt down there and then the top line splits sends half a belt down there under 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 half a belt down there um the red circuits will just come out the bottom here. I haven't decided exactly where I want to send these yet. But we've got more than a belt. I'll balance them just to be on the safe side, I guess. Um, now, we use... I, I'm not... I guess I could figure it out, but... Instead of figuring out exactly how many green circuits I'm going to send down here and... I know I'm using less than two belts. The question is, I've got slightly more than, well, I've got seven belts worth there, but I'm using six and a half belts in total, so, like, does the rest of the factory need more than four and a half belts? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is a priority splitter again. I'm using a lot of these lately. Um, basically to peel off as much of two belts as possible. And because I'm using, I know I'm using more than one belt, but less than two, so I will bring this down by one belt's worth. 
So let, let me show you what I mean there. Okay, so this first set of splitters up here should push everything down to the southernmost belt as possible. Then effectively this one here will pull off as much as is required by this belt, slightly less than one belt. This one will pull off as much as it can from the second belt. And then instead of having the seven belts up there down here, we've got six. Okay, I'll do something similar with the plastic and belt that up and we'll plug it in and see what blows up first. Okay, I think we're ready to plug this in. So let's do green circuits first. Oh, I'm not close enough to that. There we go. Make sure that goes where it needs to. Okay, that is looking good to me so far. There's a little gap in the belt. Let's make sure that gets filled. Yes, it did. Ah, but it managed to transfer over to here. Interesting. Um, I might need... Ooh, because I'm pulling off two in a row here, I might need another row of these. No, that's not going to do anything. Um, yeah, what, what I actually need to do is put my second line off there. Like that. Um... I also need to output priority the right way. That will help. Okay, it looks a bit messy, but that should do the job now. Um, let me come down here. Again, I'm pulling off two lines in a row, so I need to make sure I'm doing the same kind of thing there. So that will be one of those. You need one there and one there. And I'm... These are the extra lines that are sort of continuing on. Okay, your app priority is the wrong way. Okay, now remember we actually have oil switched off at the moment, so this won't last very long, but let's plug in, uh, not oil, let's plug in plastic. Make sure that goes where it's needed. Okay, that is looking promising. And copper cable. And I'm seeing red circuits. Jolly good. Okay, now we've already eaten through all of our plastic, so that will run down pretty quickly. Is that 57 a second? I don't know, but I'm going to say yes, because I can. Right, next up, blue circuits. Right, blue circuits need the green circuits, the red circuits, and the sulfuric acid. I've brought the sulfuric acid up to here. Again, remember, oil is switched off at the moment, so we're not going to be making any more than we've already got in there. But that's fine for now. And these take 10 seconds to craft. Uh, let's see, if, if I do a module like this... Um... How many, well, yeah, how, how many machines would I need at a crafting speed of three? So they take 10 seconds to craft, so ordinarily it's 0 0.1 per second. At a crafting speed of three, that's 0 0.3 per second. At a productivity of 1.4, each machine makes 0 0.42 per second. If I divide our required total, which is 10.17 by all of that. This tells me we need 24.2 machines. Round that up to the big, uh, to the nearest even number, I'll call it 26 machines. Uh, that would be 13 to each side of a belt, but I suspect that electronic circuits are not going to be able to keep up with that. So if we do 20 electronic circuits per craft divided by 10 seconds per craft, that gives us each machine wants two green circuits per second. Multiply that by the crafting speed of three is six. Multiply that by 13 is 78. Yeah, that's a bit more than 45. Okay, so let's approach it from the direction of how many machines can a single green, uh, can a single belt of green circuits provide for? So we've got then 45 divided by the 
20 divided by 10 times 3. 7.5 machines. So, 7 machines. So if I do 4 rows of 7, that's 28, which again is more than we need, but better to overbuild in situations like this. If I trust that my basic raw resources are enough, we're never going to be making less than our 1,000 per second. 1,000 per minute. Jeez, what would a 1,000 per second look like? Okay, so let's see if I can do a 4x7 module. Okay, so you make them with them. I would need the green circuits coming in there. The red circuits would need to come in there. And see, this is where it gets tricky. Because if I put another one of those down next to it... I need to figure out how to get the sulfuric acid in there. I might not be able to use this row of beacons. I can do it if I... move it out here, give it its own row of beacons, because then I just bring the sulfuric acid in from over here. A little bit of a waste, but I think I can deal with it. We've got the power. Okay, let's try that then. Alright, so the sulfuric acid seems to pump in well enough. Um, I've got some belt tidy up to do. It should be easy enough. Then we'll see if I, um, well, we'll see if I've made any mistakes when I plug the thing in. Okay, I think we are nearly done. I've just got a few more belts to plug in. So the sulfuric acid is already in there. I did a bit of calculation and I figured out that all of these blue circuits use three and a bit belts worth of um, green circuits. So I've taken off the three full belts that we're using from there and that leaves us with the four remember before coming into this we had seven um still not certain exactly how much this uses i could probably get away with taking another one um in fact i can definitely get away with taking another belt away there you go okay so we've got something less than three full belts of green circuits after this the red circuits, we use less than a full belt. We use 14 and a half-ish of our red circuits per second in here. So we've still got two belts of red circuits coming out. There is our belt of blue circuits, which I may as well bring up and put next to the other colours. Okay. Now, again, no oil at the moment, so we've basically got no red circuits. But red circuits go in there. Ooh, also, I should do that. Red circuits go down there. Green circuits come down there. Okay, I'm seeing movement. And I'm seeing blue circuits. Lovely. Let's go turn on red circuit. Uh, let's go turn on the oil. And see some things in action. Okay, with the oil switched on, we are now making a plastic again. Okay, so I can already see a mistake, uh, actually down here. There we go. Get our two belts of plastic, but we should now start seeing some red circuits being crafted. Okay, we'll start seeing some red circuits from the other lane as well. Meanwhile, we should now start seeing some more blue circuits being crafted. There we go. Alright, I think I'm going to say I'm happy with that. I guess it remains to be seen if it's correct. Um, also, now we've had oil switched on for a little bit. Yeah, plastic is looking drab. What is going on here? These are supposed to be three compressed belts, thank you very much. You have no petrol. You are not working because you have too much light oil. Okay, I think I know what is happening. 
because we are not yet making rocket fuel, this cannot keep up with the surplus of light oil that we have. Therefore, we're building up on light oil to the point where we can no longer make petroleum gas, which is why we're not making plastic. I think that's what's going on. This system is, quite frankly, probably a bit too finely tuned. I guess we'll see. But anyway, that will do us for today, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll move on with next episode. Uh, maybe we'll move on with the rocket fuel. Now uh, We've got all the stuff we need for it. So, yeah, maybe we'll take care of some of the smaller things like the rocket fuel. Low density structures, not exactly small, but simple. I mean, we've got the stuff. We've got the plastic, we've got the steel, we've got the copper. Um, what else? Uh, I guess we could do the rocket control units as well. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But, as I said, leaving it there for today. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.